most of the Excel users have this one particular doubt that they keep regularly inquiring why one needs to move to a software like Tabulo as they are fully comfortable and equipped in working with Excel. Now they're able to do all the things which Tabulo offers with the help of Excel. For all these users, I can definitely say that they're not very well acquainted with Tabulo as a software, nor do they know the key differences between Excel and Tabulo. So in today's session, we're going to find some of the differences between Excel and Tabulo. Hi everyone, this is Kavya from Eduweka. Welcome to today's session on Excel versus Tabulo. Before we begin, I'd like to address the agenda. Firstly, we will have a tiny introduction to the various tools that are available in the market today. Then we'll talk about what is Excel, what is Tabulo, and then we will check out the differences between Excel versus Tabulo. And we'll conclude the session with a use case. Kindly take up this time to subscribe to us and do not forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from the Edureka YouTube channel. Also to learn more about new trending technologies, visit our page the link to which is given in the description box below. So without much ado, let's get started. Introduction to the various tools that are available. Now, firstly, let us understand what is a spreadsheet tool. Now, Excel is a spreadsheet tool, whereas Tabulo is a data visualization tool. Now, in a spreadsheet tool like Microsoft Excel, here the data is represented in rows and columns and the data is then fed into different cells. Operations and manipulation with the data can be performed by various formulas or even manipulating techniques to change the data into your desired form. The data manipulated can then be converted into various forms like graphs or charts with the help of the tool like Microsoft Excel. So that is what a spreadsheet tool really does. Let's move ahead and understand what is a data visualization tool. Okay, now these tools are able to represent the data in, you know, a pictorial or graphical form to give you various patterns, differences, relationships between the data, all of that can really happen in data visualization tools. Tabulo is a data visualization tools. Also, these tools help you connect to third party tools to receive data. So you can receive data from external sources. That is what is the biggest advantage of softwares like Tabulo. It also graphically represents the data and also helps the user with simple drag and drop features to explore the data and its pictorial representations extremely freely. So Tabulo has a great graphical user interface that really helps the user, you know, play with data and understand the data in a much better form. Now that we know what a spreadsheet tool is and data visualization tool is, let's move ahead and understand what is Microsoft Excel. So Microsoft Excel is a very helpful and powerful program for data analysis and also, you could say for documentation, it is basically a spreadsheet program, which really contains various numbers of rows and columns and where each intersection of a column and a row is called cell. So if you have row one and column one, the intersection between these two is called a cell. Now, each cell contains one point of data or one piece of information. So each of this cell, you can fill in information. For example, if we have a column of date of birth, so the first row will be of a particular person's name. So you can fill a particular piece of information. That is, you can fill the date of birth of only that person in one cell. Okay. So I hope cells and rows and columns are clear. Now, by organizing the information in this particular way, that is in cells and rows, you can really make information easier to find and automatically draw information from changing data. So that's what really Excel is used for. It helps in finding information easily. You can arrange data easily and then eventually find also data easily in the form of columns and rows. So now that we know what is Excel, let's move ahead and understand what is Tabulo. Now Tabulo, as we've already discussed, is a very powerful data visualization tool, mainly used in the business intelligence industry. So what it really does is it helps in simplifying raw data in a very understandable format that is usually in a graphical representation. So what it does is it helps create the data that can be understood by professionals at any level in any organization. That's the biggest advantage of Tableau. It also allows non-technical users to create customized dashboards or reports that they like to. 
So this tool is not really only for technical professionals, even non-technical professionals can use it. Data analysis is very fast with Tabulo tool and the visualizations that are created are in the form of either, as I've already mentioned, dashboards, worksheets or reports. Now, the biggest thing of Tabulo software is that it doesn't require any kind of technical or any kind of programming skills to operate it. All you have to do is you have to build some interest and really look and see how it works. And people from all kinds of backgrounds, like all kinds of sectors, such as business, researchers, different industries can work on the software really easily. That's the biggest advantage. So now that we know what is Tabulo, we'll go ahead and check out the difference between Excel and Tabulo. First, let us check out the meaning of both of these. As I've already mentioned, Excel is a spreadsheet software that displays the data in a tabular format. In Excel, the data is stored in cells. We've already discussed this and the data can be easily manipulated by manually set formulas. You have to know these formulas, then you can really play around with your data. And one of the advantages of Microsoft Excel is that it is a great tool for visualization too. You can really use graph charts or presentations to highlight a particular insight or data set in your Excel. On the other hand, Tabulo is obviously the most powerful data visualization tool that is currently available in the market today. It helps in viewing your data graphically and it also quickly spots patterns, trends or correlations between data points. It also grants users to combine various kinds of dashboards in Tabulo and charts that really facilitate, you know, interactive analysis between your data. And because of Tabulo, one can save a lot of time if one transfers a pre-designed Excel dashboard in Tabulo. Here you can update new content and update new visuals. That's another advantage. As I've already said, you can pull your data from external sources. And it also has a very user-friendly functionality that is drag and drop features, drop down menus, and it really allows users to explore data more freely and more effectively. Now that we know what is Excel and Tabulo, let's understand its automation functionality. So the automation functionality helps businesses in getting up to date data to make very huge decisions or critical decisions in their organization. Here, both Tabulo and Excel have great features to really work with, you know, such live data from multiple sources. Excel here allows you to refresh an Excel worksheet automatically. It involves some manual programming processes. That is, you can create macros. It helps you also to automatically update the worksheets data whenever you open the file. You can really also create simple macros using Excel's Power Pivot and Macro Recorder tools. Now, if you want to create advanced macros or, you know, manipulate the existing ones, then you will have to have some basic knowledge of Visual Basic application. Now, when you create your macros for the very first time, it may be really time consuming, but once you create it, it will really reduce the time it takes to complete repetitive tasks in a longer run. On the other hand, we have Tabulo, which is a little more intuitive with creating processes and calculations. Now, for example, if we need to type the formula once, after that, it will be stored as a field and applied to all the rows referencing to that particular source. So in this way, Tableau really allows you to create an application for the recurring processes. Other than that, you can also create custom formulas in Tableau, but you will not find the custom formula feature in Excel's Power Pivot table. Next, we have data visualizations. So visualization is definitely one of the most important point between the comparison between Excel and Tableau. Visualization is the process to highlight the most important data in your given data set, right? Excel here allows you to manipulate the data on cell level, and then you can create visualization like graph, charts, PPTs of your data. Now to simplify your visualization creation in Excel, you need to have a deep understanding of how Excel's features work. But on the other hand, Tableau is one of the most powerful and most popular data visualization tools in the world today. That's why it visualizes data from the beginning. It allows you to really see the significance right away. Apart from that, Tableau also differentiates correlations with the help of color, images, size, labels, shape, etc. different features. Thus, it is giving you context as you drill down the data. In the next difference, we have the use. Now, there are different uses of Excel, like it stores the data, it manipulates the data using various operations. 
It also stores the data in the spreadsheets using cells. We've already talked about that, but you can organize the data into the cell in your preference. That is one big advantage. Now, apart from that, you can also use Excel to represent the data in a very eye catching manner. You can use tables, graphs to really serve the data in Excel. It also provides various kinds of charts to represent your data. On the other hand, the primary use of Tableau is visualization, that is data visualization. And as we all know, it is one of the best in the markets. It also offers the best user friendly interface that allows various users to perform data visualization tasks effectively. And the best part of Tableau, as we've already discussed, it can integrate with other software and tools to get raw data. And once you get the data from external sources, you can just visualize it the way you'd like to. Next, we'll be talking about data discovery. So data discovery is really helpful in businesses, right? So if you discover something from your data, you can make future predictions and it will eventually help the organization to find some insights about it. But the ability to discover data entirely differs in Excel and Tableau. Excel may definitely not be an option for data discovery. While working in Excel, you must have an idea that the data should really help you find the critical insights. But Excel is having an advantage that it saves data in a tabular form. So it really helps you map out your path to insight. And it does that with the help of building formulas, visualizations, and information analyzing. But the sad part about Excel is the entire process causes that problem of drilling down into the data less flexible. Thus, it makes it really hard to explore information in a granular level. On the other hand, Tableau is the best software for data discovery. It helps you explore your data very freely. You need not sometimes know the answer you want ahead of time. It really has, you know, built in drill down and data blending features. And with the help of these features, you're really able to spot some relationships and trends in your data. That is patterns in your data. And in the end, you can dig down to understand the causes of whatever you are working with. That is the data that you're working with in Tableau. The next difference is in terms of business. So businesses usually use the Excel to produce quick on and off reports, right? Now, because it is really easy to generate the report in Excel. So Excel really offers the spreadsheet where the analyst can put the data and then eventually manipulate the data according to his functions or formulas. And then he can finally create the report in the shortest time without having any coding knowledge. But on the other hand, Tableau, you can really get insights from data. It offers the self-service function that would pull the insights of the data. The analyst here can really use Tableau to get insight from raw data. Most of the time, Tableau automatically imports the data from various sources. Applications. So where is Excel widely used? It's used by data analysts, developers, and also in the process of explore, transform, and load. It really provides the functionality to data analytics in performing the various tasks daily. On the other hand, Tableau is very popular among data analysts to get insights from data. Apart from that, it can also be used by data scientists to perform some inside operations on data. And as I've already mentioned before, non-technical users can also work on these softwares. It's not really that hard. So what are their specialities? Excel is definitely best for data manipulations and descriptive statistics. It is used by data analysts very often to perform such manipulations and statistical performance that you will need from your data. On the other hand, Tableau is best to visualize any size of data without any issues. Okay. Apart from that, it is also helpful to store a very large amount of data. In Excel, there is a limitation though to store the data. Integration. So I'm sure you must be aware of the integration part. Excel offers integration functionality to users. You can connect Excel to different external sources with the help of some plugins. On the other hand, Tableau has many external sources and internal sources that it can connect to. Apart from that, it also has the capability or it also offers cloud. Now, if you want to integrate any sources to Excel, then you need to have some system requirements. But in terms of Tableau, it is much easy to make live connections to external sources. That is, it provides faster speed and access to connect with such sources. Finally, the various versions. Excel, as you must be knowing, is a Microsoft licensed software. It comes with Microsoft Office, thus it gets its version with every new version of Microsoft Office, that is Office 2019. On the other hand, we have 
various versions of Tabulo. It has desktop version, server version, cloud-based version, etc. You can pick one as per your requirements. So there are two ways to purchase the Microsoft Office. The first one is you pay for the offline version and it's a one-time fee, but you can also get yearly subscription of Office 365 and the charges of Office 365 are $99.99 per year. And for personal Office 365, it's $69.99 per year. On the other hand, Tabulo offers three different types of subscriptions to users and all these subscriptions are as follows the creator, explorer and the viewer. They are charged based on monthly basis. So for the creator plan, you need to pay $70 while on the other hand, you need to pay $35 for the desktop version and $42 for the cloud deployment. You can go to the official website of Excel and Tabulo to check out the latest pricings of their versions. So let's check out a use case. So Tabulo employs managers and leaders find themselves in a very dramatically altered business world. COVID-19 is obviously impacting every part of the business from where they work to where they measure success. And in these challenging times, analytics have definitely been critical to helping make decisions confidently and very quickly. While the dashboards that you're seeing on the screen have been simplified, the data has been randomized and made completely anonymous. The use cases that you see are real. So here on the screen, you can see how this dashboard shows the amount of pipeline at risk due to COVID-19. And it also allows their sales leaders to make better decisions about how to allocate their resources. Here you can see how the sales leaders from Tabulo itself, the organization itself, are making decisions about how to make their sales, you know, and how to really allocate and use their resources better. There's so many use cases of Tabulo that have been used during this pandemic. Like, for example, human resources are using it to ensure employee safety and success. Also, the marketing team are understanding new digital initiatives by using Tabulo. So there are many other use cases of Tabulo in general. With this, we come to the end of today's session on Excel versus Tabulo. I hope you had a great time understanding the difference between both of these softwares. So if you have any queries, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Until next time, thank you. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!